Elation for Brisbane Raw, but heartbreak for Sydney FC as the Sky Blues campaign ends at the penalty spot. One player still feeling the effects of that uh, deflating defeat is Matilda striker Sarah Walsh, who joins us now. Sarah, commiserations. It was a Thanks, miserable guys. ending to what was otherwise a very, very interesting day. Yeah, I mean, there was some beautiful football being played from both sides. Uh, it's just, I guess, a little bit disappointing. Um, there were a couple of incidents on the field that, on and off the field, that um, I guess got in the way of a really good football match. And uh, yeah, obviously, no one likes to lose on penalties. But now, let, 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 let's, let's deal with uh, the Alan Stagic thing first. What actually happened to, to trigger that particular incident where he was sent from the field? Uh, basically, it started. Uh, it started just before the goal, uh, the, the equaliser in, I guess, the 93rd minute. Where, as you can see here, we had a player that went down, and uh, one of the, we we kicked the ball out actually. And then I guess we were waiting for the ball to, to either be kicked out, you know, or for our throw in, or yeah. given back to. And I guess we were just caught off guard when it was uh, lobbed into the box, and I guess they scored off it. But. Mm. Um, obviously, you know, a couple of incidents happen after that where, I guess, frustrations and, and tempers over boiled here where, I guess, you know, yeah, it was kind of just held a mm. skelter at that, at that point. And, and this is all in injury time. This is all in, I guess, six minutes overtime, so... It's very uh, competitive game, <laughs> the W <laughs> League, isn't it? It is. It, I, I guess overall it's, it's great for the W League. It's, it's been very competitive. But during the game itself, you had so many chances, particularly in that first half. Was there any point where you thought, if we don't go on with this and get a, get a second goal, that you might uh, come back and, uh, and haunt you? I'll tell you, when the, uh, we'd, we'd spoken about it all week. We actually um, we'd, we'd focused a lot on the, the Sydney-Brisbane Raw game in the A-League and, and how they'd lost, lost in extra time two goals. So mm. we, uh, we focused on playing for the full 95, or in this case, 96 minutes. So it was, uh, when that ball went in, it was, it was pretty deflating. And I think uh, then when Kai was sent off, it was, you know, it, it was tough. And, and to look around and to lose your coach like that as well, it was... Uh, it was an uphill battle from there. Did sorry. you have some, some uh, sorry, Foz, did you have some kind of, you built up some kind of serious rivalry with the Raw through the season, didn't you? Yeah, we have. Mm. Uh, I mean, I've said it before, if, if these two teams, if, if we were on the bottom of the ladder, the game would still, you know, be that high intensity. And mm. I guess uh, we both boast a lot of Matildas, so there's, there's a high quality football being played there, but it's, uh, you know, I mean, one team has to win it. We didn't lose that, that game on the penalties. Yeah. We lost it when we missed those Boss. clear cut chances. Yeah, I'm just interested in the, um, in the league, how it's progressed over the last few years. You, you know, you've obviously been there now four seasons. In the A League, it's, it's progressed in the last couple of seasons. It sort of went along a little bit, but then all of a sudden it's jumped a great deal. Has that happened with you guys now that it's getting, you know, it's getting now to sort of four years? Has the standard improved? Has it quickened? What's, what's been your action? I definitely think the standard's improved, um, especially, I guess, from the first year. We're, we're attracting a lot more international players yeah. of higher quality, yeah. I, I would say. Um, we had Megan Rapino exactly come along from the US place. national team yeah. this year. Yeah. Um, also the likes of high quality um, coaches. Yep. So the Canberra coach, Yipka, uh, who's doing an amazing job mm. with his Canberra team. Um, I mean, I don't... Sorry, Sarah, we, we, we're just, just watching them. Canberra against the Melbourne victory. Keep uh, going. When, you, when you speak to the girls, they... Uh, you can just tell you have a, a bunch of happy players there that mm. really want to win for their coach. And I think uh, Yitka brings something nice and fresh to the league and um, hopefully in the future we can get a couple more uh, overseas coaches because, I mean, this is a team that you can see they just want to play for each other every game and they're really consistent with it as well. So I think that's been the key to their success this year. And on top of that, they have Michelle Heyman, who's just a goal-scoring goal machine. So. Yeah. Well, how good are they? Uh to take us into the final against Brisbane Raw. Uh, what's your, how do you think that's going to go? Um, I, I would say just if, if they can continue to play how they've been playing, um, I, I, think, I think Brisbane might actually struggle against them. Uh, if mm. Brisbane play like they did the other day, I do think that Canberra will, will come away with it. Um, I think a great thing about Canberra is they, they have a huge amount of support back home as well. So, and I think that will really lift the team over the line. Well, Sarah, thanks for coming in today. It was thanks lovely to see us. you. Sorry about the news yesterday, but good luck in the new season. Thanks, Les.